In this video, we're going to work on your Chapter 3 QuickBooks. The Chapter 3 work uses Craig's Landscaping and Design, but I'm going to start with the Reinforce Your Skills 3-1 on page 28, and we'll go through adding new clients, and we'll go through invoicing both, both for cash and for checks. So, starting with Reinforce Your Skills 3-1 on page 28, we're supposed to add a new client, Mary Beth Dunham. So in order to do that, on the left-hand side on the dashboard, we're going to scroll down to Sales, and we're going to scroll down to Clients. I'm going to add client manually. And my client is going to be Mary Beth Dunham. And I have my display name, Mary Beth Dunham. And they're having us just put in her phone number, 702-555-4489. That's all we need to do. She is not a sub-client, so we're going to click Save. Now that we're back in the Client Center, we're going to add a new client by clicking back on the Clients tab. And we're going to click on New Client. This client, we're going to add Mary Beth's small mixed breed dog as a small client. And the name is going to be Elvis. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Is Sub Client. The parent client is going to be Mary Beth Dunham. I'm going to just put in the name as Mary Beth Dunham, comma Elvis. I went through this before, and that's the best way it's going to appear on the invoice. And we're supposed to uncheck. the print on check as which I do not see so I'm just going to click save in the next step in step 3 we're supposed to import the clients from the new client drop down menu so I'm going to click back on clients click the down arrow under new client and then import clients. I'm going to select my CSV file. I'm going to navigate to my QuickBooks folder. This time I'm going to go to my Chapter 3, import clients, click Next, we're supposed to review the mapping, And we have seven clients ready for import, which looks the same as what I see on page 28. And I'm going to click Import. In the next one, we're going to create a custom invoice. So we're going to work on now Reinforce Your Skills 3-2. We're going to click the gear, and then your company, and account and settings. On the left hand side, we're going to click Sales. In the Sales Form Content, we're going to click Edit. Our terms instead of Net 30 are going to be Net 15. Service Date is going to be On. And we'll click Save. I always forget to do that whenever I edit one of these groups. We're going to close this. We'll click Done. Or you can click Close. Next one, we're going to go to Gear, Your Company, and Custom Form Styles. 
In step 5, we're supposed to create a new style of sales receipt. So, next to new style, we're going to click the down arrow and we're going to do sales receipt. The name, instead of my sales receipt template, is going to be pink sales receipt. We're supposed to choose the modern template. So I click choose up the template and click change template. I'm going to add my logo, so I'm going to click Make Logo ed uh, Edits. I'm going to click my plus, show you how to navigate back. So I'll navigate back to my Chapter 1, or was it Chapter 2? It was Chapter 2, and there's my logo. And click Save. So there's my Puppy Love logo. They want us to do pink. We're supposed to change the font to Courier 10. Click the when in doubt, print it out or edit print sent it settings. We're going to adjust all margins to 0.5. On the content tab, We're going to click the first pen pencil. We're going to click the plus for the address. And we're going to click hide country. We don't need the US. I'm going to click to edit now the third section. And I'm supposed to add the footer text. Thank you for choosing Puppy Love Hair Bird Pooch. Once you're done, click Done. And the sales receipt invoice should be look like what you see on page 28. We're supposed to use the drop-down menu next to the pink sales receipt under action to make it our default sales receipt. Now, in Reinforce Your Skills 3.3, we're supposed to create sales forms, a deposit, and a report. On opening day, we're going to make some sales for cash, and we're going to make some sales for chat, and we're going to record all of those and reinforce your skills 3-3. So in order to do this, this is on page 28. On the left-hand side, we're going to click New, and then Clients and Customers, and Sales Receipt. In our first transaction, Jason Ridgway brought in his medium-sized terrier mix, Butch, for a full pet groom. He paid with check number 4844. So first, we need to add Butch as a sub-client of Jason Ridgway. So I'm going to click the down arrow under Client. I'm going to choose Add New. Under Client Display Name. I'm going to choose Jason, uh, Jason Ridgeway, comma, butch, and I'm going to note that he is a sub-client of Jason Ridgeway. I'm going to click Save. 
So now we have our Jason Ridgeway Butch, our payment method, he paid with check, so our payment method is going to be check. The reference number is the check number, 4844. And instead of depositing to Los Angeles City Bank, we're going to deposit to payments to deposit, which I guess I should have changed the name to undeposited funds. I'll try to do that later. So um, that was a medium-sized Paul Petgroom. Our service date was August 6, 2026. The product or service is the medium full pet groom. Full pet groom, medium dog, $45. The sales receipt number 1001 and click save. And now on the bottom right hand side where it says save and send, I'm going to click save and close. I am now going to add Jerry Lee and Bonnie Zoe. So on the left hand side, new sales receipt. I'm going to find Jerry Lee, does not have a sub-client, so I'm going to add the new sub-client King. So my client display name is going to be Jerry Lee King, sub-client of Jerry Lee, and click Save. Payment method was check. That check number is 9887. And either undeposited funds or payments to deposit. This service date was also August 6, 2026. Uh, King was a flea bath, and we're going to click Save and New. The third one that we're going to do is we're going to do Bonnie Zoe. So Bonnie Zoe is going to bring in her tiny chihuahua, Missy, for a bath and prosh and paid cash. So I'm going to scroll down. I actually don't see Bonnie Zoe at all as a client. So I'm going to add Bonnie Zoe. First as a client, then I'm going to add the Chihuahua, as a sub-client of Bonnie Zoe. This payment method is going to be cash. We can skip the reference number. We're going to deposit to payments to deposit. This service date, it's a little annoying, but we have to go into 2020 Sachs. August 6, 2026. They said that the dates were very important. And this is going to be a small bath and brush. So $20, 
And instead of save and new, now it's going to be save and close. The next thing that we need to do is prepare the bank deposit, new, other, and bank deposit. We're going to deposit all of our funds, and the account is going to be to Los Angeles City Bank. The date is going to be August 6th, 2026. No additional funds are going to be added, so instead of Save and New, we're just going to click Save and Close. To run Report, we're going to click the Reports. We're going to choose Standard tab, Sales and Customers. and Sales by Client Summary. So we see Barney Zoe for 20 We see Jason Ridgway for Butch for $45. Jerry Lee King for 10 A total of $75. We're going to continue on with Apply Your Skills 3-1 and 3-2. So we're ready in class for Apply Your Skills 3-3. So we're supposed to create three sales receipts for Benny Stewart, Arlene, and Stacy Common. So I'm going to click New, and then Sales Receipt. Benny Stewart decided it would be a treat for his small terrier, Maggie, to get a nice bath and brush. So I'm going to click the down arrow. Benny Stewart does not have his uh, small terrier Maggie. So I'm going to add new Benny Stewart Maggie sub client of Benny Stewart. So we're going to click Benny Stewart Maggie. Sales receipt date is August 6, 2026. Benny paid with a check. The check number is 12678. And we're going to deposit to either payments to deposit or undeposited funds. Service date is also August 6, 2026. This is definitely getting old, going all the way out to August 2026. Um, bath and brush along with the teeth brushing. So uh, the small terrier, bath and brush, small dog, second service, did not like it, tried to type in the date. August 6, 2026, another teeth brushing. For a total of $25. We have two more, so instead of save and close, I'm going to choose save and new. Second one is Arlene Garrison Small Terrier Joe. So I'm going to click the down arrow. Arlene Garrison, we don't have the terrier, so add new. Arlene Garrison, Joe, sub-client of Arlene Garrison. We're going to click save. Sales receipt date is August 6th. Arlene paid by check. 9981. Make sure it's payments to deposit. Got a mini pet groom.
and that was a small and ears cleaned. We have a total of $40. Click Save and New. And the last one we have is Stacy Common, paid in cash. So we're going to choose a client. Stacy Common, but I don't see Agnes. So we're going to add new. Stacy Common, Agnes, sub client. Uh, Stacy Common. August sixth, sales receipt. This uh, one was cash. There's no reference number. Payments to deposit. Service date. August 6th, and Stacy Common was a bath and a brush. And her dog is a medium dog. And that's the last of our invoices, so instead of save and new, save and close. The next thing that we're supposed to do after that is to create our bank deposit for August 6th. So new under other bank deposit. We're going to do this on um, August 6th. We have our cash and our two checks. We're going to deposit all of them and we're going to deposit it to our Los Angeles City Bank account. Going to click Save and Close. And then a Sales by Client Summary. So Reports. From the left, Reports. Sales and Customers. And Sales by Client Summary. We'll do all dates. And there are all of our sales. Now I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to go back for a moment to my reports. Sales by Client Summary. I'm going to choose All Dates. Save that customization. And notice my Sales by Client Summary should be $170. So we do in fact match that total. And going back to the dashboard. To check my cash balance. Now, what I realized is I had not done the Apply Your Skills 2-3, so some of my checks were not in. I went back, I put in my checks, and notice now that my bank register matches the check digit. And now we're just going to record the re remaining transactions from Apply Your Skills 3-2 to get ready for Apply Your Skills 3-3. On page 29. So to record our transactions, making sure that we're on the dashboard, click New and Sales Receipt. Our first customer is Julie Walton. Both of her boxers, Alice and Susie. I don't see Julie Walton at all. 
So I'm going to add new. First we'll add Julie Walton. And click Save. Next, after Julie Walton, we'll add first Alice. As a subclient of Julie Walton. And then we'll also add Susie as a subclient of Julie Walton. Keep forgetting I need to scroll and save. So they actually said that we should set up a different invoice for each one of the dogs. So first I'm going to set up one for Alice. The date of this invoice, August 7, 2026. Payment method is going to be check, 1515. Payments to deposit, service date, August 7, 2026. First product or service is a large dog, full groom. Second product, teeth brushed. Third product, ears cleaned. We have another invoice to put in, so save and new. Second one is going to be the same invoice for the second dog, Susie. So, Julie Walton's other dog, Susie, August 7th, 2026, check, 1515, payments to deposit, first service, full groom, large dog, Second service, I tried typing in the date and it did not work, teeth brushed, third service, ears cleaned. And click Save and New. Next one we have is uh, Doug Sherrill with the Extra Large Husky. I don't see Doug Sherrill as a client, so I'm going to add a new client. For Doug Sherrill. And click Save. Add the subclient for Doug. Skeeter. Subclient of Doug Sherrill. And click Save. Sales receipt date August. For Doug, check. 8987 payments to deposit 
service date, August 7th. And extra large bath and brush. Save and new. Third bullet point, Brett Johnson, large basset hound Romeo for bath and brush and teeth brush and paid with cash. So our third client is going to be Brett Johnson. I don't see Brett Johnson, so we're going to have to add a new client. And then add our new sub-client for Brett Johnson. Romeo. Sub-client of Brett Johnson and save. Sales receipt date, August 7th. Brett Johnson paid with cash, so no reference number. Service date, August 7th. Large bath and brush. And teeth brushed. Save and new. Our next one is Amanda Brown. I don't think we have an Amanda Brown. We do not. So add new. Amanda Brown. We're going to click save. August 7th. She brought in a terribly matted small terrier in a field. Flea bath and full groom and extra charge for matted pets. Amanda has not paid, uh, named him yet, so we're not going to set up a sub-client, and she paid in cash. Payments to deposit. So August 7th, flea bath. August 7th, full groom, small dog, and finally, extra charge for the matted pet. Save and new. And finally, the last one, Jamie Thompson and her teacup poodle peaches. I don't see a Jamie Thompson, so we're going to have to add a new client. And another new sub-client, Peaches. Sub-client, Jamie Thompson. And click Save. August 7th, choose payment number check. Check number is 58581. Payments to deposit. Service date. August 7th. Product. Full groom for a small dog. And 
and had her nails painted. And finally, that is our last bullet point. So now we're going to choose Save and Close. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the today's sales to the bank and deposit them. So we're going to need to record a bank deposit. Then we're going to have a sales by client summary. So to do our bank deposit, new, bank deposit. We're going to choose all of our items. We're going, we don't have any more funds to add, so we're going to click Save and Close. Once we do that, our bank balance, 52473 matches. And we'll bring up our Sales by Client Summary. So to do that, I'm going to go to my Reports. Down to Sales and Customers. Sales by Client Summary. All dates. Run report. A total of three hundred and five hundred and twenty-three dollars. Because I believe that it includes all of the dates. We should just have August twenty twenty six. and $448. And if we run a report just for August 7th, our sales by client summary actually match.